Hey, this is Dr. Taylor Crick at Washington Wellness Center, and today I want to talk about mold toxicity. It's a really, really heavy topic. If you've ever known anybody who's susceptible to mold toxicity and has gotten sick from it, it can absolutely ruin your life. You know, the, the, the main symptoms, I'd say, are incredible fatigue, um, brain fog, and just your body just kind of stops functioning normally. Oftentimes a, a rapid and sudden weight gain. There's all kinds of symptoms that can come along with mold toxicity. And you know, there's a certain percentage of the population that's really, really sensitive to this. And it's, it's known as, mold toxicity is known as uh, SEERS, which is chronic inflammatory response syndrome. So your body just goes into this inflammatory response and it kind of jacks up everything. Jacks up your mitochondria, jacks up your liver and detox. And it's, it's kind of crazy and it's a tough thing and people that have been through it know that it's really, really tricky. Uh, so a couple things that we, that we offer that, that are good for it. You know, sauna is one of them. They've, they've measured with people that have mycotoxins living in their body that they excrete them through the sweat. So we know that as we stimulate sweat, a sauna is a really, really important part of any mold healing protocol. We also do some advanced lab testing for urine mycotoxins. We've just started running this test but looking for uro, urine mycotoxins to see are you excreting mycotoxins that are, that are living in, in, in your system and are you, do you have a high level of those things. Then there are other things that we use and it's pretty customized for protocols, but things like different binders, different liver support. Sometimes these, these patients will have thyroid issues, will have methylation issues, they have brain fog, they've got just other issues, B vitamin deficiencies, all these things are kind of secondary to mold. But it's really, really serious. You know, we, there, it said that there are three, what's called big amigos, three amigos that are really, really scary and that are the, the cause of a lot of our chronic and complex health conditions today. It's metals, molds, and hidden infections. Things like Lyme disease, things like Bartonella and co-infections, things like SIBO, H. pylori, Candida, uh, Epstein-Barr, CMV, cytomegalovirus, etc. Uh, but mold is a big one. And I'll tell you what, in Utah, we didn't see it as much because it's, it's dry. It's not as humid. Here, you know, we all know what spring was like this year. My basement took on water. My basement had mold remediated. Um, and other people, you know, we've had some patients and, and they said like, oh my gosh, everybody in my family was wheezing, everybody in my family was coughing. So your basement's a great place, and sometimes you don't always see it. It's in the air ducts, it's behind the, the outlets on your wall, it's in these crazy places that you don't necessarily see it. Some of the most uh, dangerous places to be are schools, hospitals, you know, these buildings with flat, especially schools, you know, flat roofs and built by the lowest bidder. Um, a lot of those uh, buildings are sick, and it's actually called, it's actually diagnosed as sick building syndrome. Toxic mold, chronic inflammatory response is also known as sick building syndrome. So there's a little just, you know, brief overview of mold toxicity. It's a, it's a really scary thing, it's a really serious thing, but it's something that we try to offer people good solutions for. So if that's something you're curious about, let us know and we'll help you decipher if we think that that is what's really going on.